Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Hi guys! So this is actually part 2 of our Solving for Age Problem videos. In this video, papakita ko kung paano natin isasolve yung quiz from the previous video. Here's the link to that and I recommend that you watch that one first. For those hindi nakapanood nun, here are the problems if you want to solve it on your own. After that, I'll show you the solution. Five years ago, John's age was half of the age he will be in eight years. How old is he now? Para sa ating table, meron tayong age ni John in five years, so that's negative five kasi nga past. In eight years, o positive eight kasi future. And meron din ng present age or now. Let's assign his present age as X kasi unknown or di pa natin alam ang value. If his age now is x, then his age 5 years ago should be x minus 5. In 8 years, it will be x plus 8. So, balik tayo sa problem. 5 years ago, John's age, so that is x minus 5, was or equal to half of. Ang keyword natin dyan ay of. This tells us na we have to multiply. So, 1 half times, anong multiply natin? Age ni John in 8 years, which is x plus 8. So, isulat natin in equation form, we will have x minus 5 is equal to 1 half times x plus 8. Multiply both sides by 2, we will get this. I-distribute natin ang 2, we will have 2x minus 10 is equal to x plus 8. Let's combine like terms, so ilipat ang negative 10 and x. Ang makukuha natin ay 2x minus x is equal to 8 plus 10. If we simplify this, we will get x is equal to 18. So ang final answer natin ay John is 18 years old. Anne is twice as old as his friend Bob. Bob is 5 years older than Chris. In 5 years, Anne will be 3 times as old as Chris. How old is Bob now? So for our table, we will have in 5 years or positive 5 and now or ang present age. Let's say Bob's age is X. So bakit age ni Bob ang gagawin kong X? Kasi if you check the problem, kinumpare si Anne and Chris kay Bob. So personally, I think mas madali tong isulat in table form. You can assign x sa kahit kanino sa tatlo. You should arrive with the same answer. Since Anne is twice as old as Bob, ang present age niya ay 2 times x or 2x. Bob is 5 years older than Chris. Or in other words, pwede nating sabihin na Chris is 5 years younger than Bob. So ang present age ni Chris should be x minus 5. So if ito ang present ages nila, in 5 years, madadagdagan lahat ng plus 5. 2x plus 5, x plus 5, x minus 5 plus 5. So ito ay equal lang sa x. Now, balik tayo sa problem. In 5 years, Anne will be 3 times as old as Chris. So ang titingnan natin ang positive 5 column. Ang age ni Anne, which is 2x plus 5, will be equal to 3 times as old as Chris. So, ang age ni Chris in 5 years, which is x, ay multiply natin by 3. Writing it in equation form, we will have 2x plus 5 is equal to 3x. Ilipat natin ang 2x sa kabilang side, we will get 
5 is equal to 3x minus 2x. 3x minus 2x, that's equal to x. So we will have 5 is equal to x. So ang final answer natin is, Bob is 5 years old. Alice is three times as old as her son. In 12 years, Alice's age will be one year less than twice her son's age. How old is each now? So sa table natin, we will have 12 years or positive 12. And in present age or now, i-assign natin ang age ni son as x. Alice is three times as old as her son. So yan ay three times x or three x. In 12 years, ang age nila ay madadagdagan ng 12. We will have 3x plus 12 at x plus 12. Now, going back to the problem, in 12 years, Alice's age will be one year less than twice her son's age. So, dito tayo concerned. Alice's age, which is 3x plus 12, will be or equal to one year less than twice her son's age. So, ibig sabihin, we will subtract 1 from 2 times ng age ng son. Sulat natin in equation form, 3x plus 12 is equal to 2 times quantity x plus 12 minus 1. Distribute natin ng 2, we will get this. Then simplify, 3x plus 12 is equal to 2x plus 23. Combine like terms, so ilipat natin ang positive 12 and positive 2x we will get 3x minus 2 is equal to 23 minus 12. 3x minus 2x, that's x, is equal to 23 minus 12, 11. Ito ang age ng son. To get Alice's present age, multiply natin ito by 3. So our final answer is, Alice's age is 33 while her son's age is 11.